this is Pastor Rebecca, and we are moving on to our last COVID Bible study in Ephesians. Um, it's a good one, and it's one that most of you will know. And um, I just, I hope you're ready for it, because there's going to be a lot of drawing and a lot of um, things to take in. And I really hope that we can do it all of this last. So it's 10 through 23. Hi, hi, hi. We have a lot to do. So we're going to start right away by um, labeling. Our, this is our draw. This is our last COVID Bible study in Ephesians. Not our last. We're going to do John in September. So be watching for it. I'm so excited to do the book of John. Because when we do it, we're going to learn a little bit about meditation too. And being able to just creatively interact with God's word in a way that will blow your mind. Okay. So COVID Bible study. I think this is 18. Bible study, okay, and now it's uh, uh, it's August, it's still, let's see, the 17th, 2020, and it's Ephesians 6, and we're starting at 10. Okay, I'm going to read it to you, and then we're going to start drawing, okay? I encourage you to start drawing even before I come up with my ideas, because I think it's going to be good for you. Okay, finally, be strengthened by the word and by his vast strength. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the tactics of the devil. For our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the principalities and authorities of this world. Now remember, we've heard this before. This is our third or fourth time we've heard rulers, principalities, authorities of this world. This is a theme that means Paul is, is, is bringing it to us again. And if he's bringing it to us again, he's bringing it to us on purpose. Okay. This is why you must take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having prepared everything to take your stand. I love this. So it's like getting ready, but now you take your stand. So stand therefore with truth like a belt around your waist, righteousness like armor on your chest, and your feet sandaled with readiness from the gospel of peace. In every situation, take the shield of faith, and with it you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word. Pray at all times in the Spirit with every prayer and request, and stay alert with all perseverance and inter intercession. This is a Holcomb Bible, and I'm loving this. Pray also for me that the messenger may be given to me message when I open my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. For this I am an ambassador of Christ, of chain, in chains. Pray that I might be bold enough in him to speak as I should. Whew. So we just did the study on relationships. Last COVID study, we talked about child-parent relationships and relationships with bosses or overseers or leaders and now after all that he's been speaking of he goes finally so this is like his last word he goes now after I've said everything that I've said this is what you need to do first of all he says be strengthened in the Lord so we love to draw the word strengthened we make a fist with muscles so finally, so we're going to write the word finally, be strengthened by the Lord. So we want to put strengthened, S-T-R-E-N-G, T, I didn't do enough strength. I'm just going to put strength. Okay, so as you can see, I put this the setup and now I put finally strengthened in the Lord and by his vast strength. So in the Lord, so I'm going to put Lord up here. And so, you know, he says, okay, after all I've taught you, be strong in the Lord, be strong in the Lord. And then he says, put on. And he's done this before. He, before he's, we were to put on some good traits and put off some bad traits. And now he's saying, put on. So I, I th we, we've got to put these words in big words right here, put on. Because when God tells us to put on something, we need to do it. Now, he says, put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the tactic of the devils. So first of all, 
he before he talks about the what we're putting on, he talks about Satan and he says, um, so you can stand against the tactics of the devil. For our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the authorities, against the the powers of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. This is why you have to take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in all in the evil day and having took and having prepared everything to take your stand. So, you know, we like to, to draw a devil. And so we, we draw a devil just kind of in the way that he is drawn with, you know, horns and, but you know, he has tactics. So he's got a plan. So I'm making him like with a plan. Um, kaboom. Okay, so here, here is Satan. And so, so our battle, our battle is against Satan. He, it's against Satan, the evil ways, the authorities. We've got to get that. And so what happens is what he says is for our battles, not against flesh and blood. And I love this because he just talked about being parents and he just talked about being in relationship with bosses and all of that stuff. And what he's saying is those battles are not against flesh and blood, but they're against Satan who's, who's trying to get us. And so Satan's trying to get your relationship with your daughter or your son in a bad place. Satan's trying to get you to mouth off to your boss or to be a bad boss. Satan is trying that and we have to be aware of the tactics. We have to be aware of the tactics. And I would love you as kids right now to and, and adults to think about the tactics. How does Satan get you? C.S. Lewis writes a letter, a whole letter. It's called the Screw Tape, Screw Tape Letters. It's a whole book, excuse me. And what it is, it's like a demon, a big demon, like a, you know, successful demon talking to a little demon on how to get people to be distracted from Christianity. And basically what he says is they're talking and they're like, you know, I tried to get him to, to, you know, be murderous, thieving, whatever, and it wouldn't work. And so instead I got inside the relationships. I got them to not like the pastor. I got them to hate their, their mother or their children or whatever, and to argue and stuff. That's that stirring up. You know, we talked about don't stir up. And so we have to be very aware of the tactics that Satan has on us. And like, think about him. Like, how did he get me today? <laughs> you know, in the last little lesson, I was just involved in a little skirmish with one of my kids. And as I walked in, I'm like, yep, I got, I was gotten, you know, I was, I was led into reacting instead of being a mighty woman of God. And so I just want to encourage you kids to watch the tactics. So how do we, how do we avoid the tactics of Satan? Well, he says, put on the full armor of God. And, and so I love there. So he says, stand therefore with the belt of truth. So the first thing he's asking us to put on is a belt of truth. So can you make a belt across your, see, just like that across your, your, your thing. The belt of truth is my, is probably my favorite article of armor. So this is, he's, he's, he's telling us to put this on our life and he's making it look like armor. T R U T H. So we're going to put the U in the middle and then T R T H. And we're going to put the buckle of truth. You need to know that the buckle of truth held the armor together and it protected the private areas of the the person fighting. It was all in this area of your, you know, like your kidneys and, you know, just everything in that lower extremity area that needed protecting. And what he wants us to do is he wants to have, us to have truth in the very center of our life. So tr truth, I, I need you to know, I. Kids, I don't know if you have time, but I would love you to make a list of truths and lies. You know, we like to play the game two truths and a lie. But think of the lies that Satan says to you. Like right now in COVID, you're so bored. Well, no, the truth is you're, you're, you're healthy. Oh, nobody loves you. The truth is you are loved. God loves you. Your your children's pastor loves you. So to 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 combat that, 
think of, try to come up with as many truths as you can about yourself and about your life and, and what God says about you. God says you're forgiven. God says you're whole. God says all these things about you. So start with the, belt, the, the thing of truth. Then it says, um, and where, where, where righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness. So we're going to put righteousness up here. Oh, you know what? I went too high. So anyhow, righteousness. And you know, that is right living, holy living. So righteousness, holy living is to cover our heart. Holy living is to cover what we, what we put in us. Holy living. And then it says, and your feet, and I just love this, your feet, and I'm going to make, you know, some wonderful, um, uh, boots. It says they are to have readiness and peace. Oh, don't you love those two words? Readiness and peace. I feel like they're kind of against each other. Readiness is like boom, boom, boom. Peace is like this, right? So I put on one foot readiness and then one foot peace. And you see I've got that so far. And then it says the shield of faith. We need the shield of faith. Do you remember, or you probably don't, but it used to be talk to the hand because I'm not listening, you know, because it was kind of a disrespectful talk to the hand because I'm not listening. Well, the shield of faith should come up in front of us so that we can literally say, talk to the shield because I'm not listening. My faith, talk to my faith. And it's a, and what he says is hold up the shield of faith so that the, the darts, the fiery darts of Satan can't get you. And that's those lies. And so what the kids and I did the other day is we um, made a whole bunch of arrows and we wrote on those arrows lies, okay? Um, everybody's doing it. You know, that's a lie straight from the pit of the hell. Everybody says that. Everybody does that. Everybody. That's a lie. And that's Satan's tactic against you. Um, nobody loves me. That's a lie, and that's a Satan attack from you. Um, fear, anxiety, they're all tactics. And if we can hold our faith up in front of them and tell Satan, talk to the shield, I'm not listening, we can extinguish them. And then it says, um, take the helmet of salvation, and my helmet is going to be small, but the helmet is salvation. And I just love thinking about putting the helmet of salvation, putting Jesus Christ saving you on your thoughts, on your eyes, on your mouth, on your ears. The helmet is salvation. Salvation, God's salvation needs to save us, to heal us, to make us whole in our thinking, in our seeing, in our hearing, in our talking, even in our enjoying. And so salvation is I put it right on top is there and then it says the sword of the spirit and so let's take the sword of the spirit we're putting that on here I should have added more colors I know and which is the word of God you who have been doing this bible study you are studying the word of God you are applying the sword of the spirit that's super cool that's super cool so do you see how this relates to our relationships? That the word of God in our relationships, that truth, readiness and peace, being ready to, to, to advance with the gospel, but bringing peace all the time. Salvation, God's salvation on our thinking, on our seeing, on our hearing. Oh, kids, can you get this? Parents, I have been told by other people and I try to do it. I don't always do it successfully. But um, to literally be, be putting on the helmet of salvation on my children every day, praying that on them, praying righteous living on them, praying truth. And kids, you can do this. If you get up every morning and you're like, I don't know what to pray, just pray the, pray the armor of God. Dear God, have salvation on my head today, righteousness on my heart, truth holding me together. May I be ready 
to share God's word with peace. May I have faith to extinguish the arrows and the word of the spirit. And then he says, pray all the time and stay alert. In this, with all perseverance and intercession for all the saints, pray for me. And I want you to pray for me. Will you pray for me? Right now, we're trying to figure out what we're doing within fall, and we don't know. So pray. We've got some ideas, but we need to pray. And then he says, by the way, I'm an ambassador in chains. And so, and then he, then at the end, he does a farewell. And this farewell is kind of important because he's, um, telling you for this very reason to let me know that we encourage your hearts peace to the brothers and sisters and grace be with you for your undying love um so that's how we end with peace and love and praying for each other and um i think we're gonna walk it out now should we walk it out walk it out two footprints and I'm just going to say, put on the armor. I'm going to try to remember to do that every day. Which piece do you feel you need more? Do you need salvation on your mind? Do you need right living in your heart? How about truth? Do you need truth or maybe faith? Sword of the spirit or the secret praying in the spirit at all times? Why don't you take a picture of your pictures and send them to me? Tell me what you've thought about this COVID Bible study. We're at the end of Ephesians and you have just studied an entire book of the Bible. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am of you. You've done an amazing job. Now, you don't have to wait for me. You can take any book of the Bible or even just one chapter. One chapter that's really fun to, to draw out is Psalm 1. Draw out Psalm 1 and share it with me. Wouldn't it be crazy to, to draw out the book of Revelation? I <sighs> have to think if I'm ready to do that. But we're going to go into the book of John. And John actually wrote the book of Revelation. So maybe, I don't know. I just want you to know that you are studying God's word. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're doing a good job. I'm going to pray for you. Dear God, I just pray for all the kids and adults who participated in the COVID Bible studies. Would you please, oh please, Lord, help them to put the full armor of God and that the tactics of Satan will not succeed against us. We love you so much, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me. You're awesome. Remember, continue to pray, capture your thoughts, count your blessings, connect with others, Put Christ first, stay clean, and cry once in a while. Have a good day.